begins with another thriller called Christine. Remember, Gene, last year when we did our analysis of the teenage sex movie? Yeah, I was seated right next to you. That's right. I remember you right across the aisle. Now, here's a movie. It's named Christine that adds a whole new category to the horny teenager movie. That was that new genre that we invented here on the show. There have been a lot of movies over the years <laughs> where a teenage boy parks in a car with a girl that he loves, but this has got to be the first movie in history where the kid parks with a girl in the car he loves. <laughs> the car is named Christine. It's a 1958 Plymouth Fury, and here's a scene of love at first sight. Careful, Dennis. There's a piece of... Barney, well, she could be fixed up. She could. Yeah. Well, she could be really tough. You need these. How much do you want for? I mean, whatever it is, it's not enough. Johnny, you ever owned a car before? Yeah, you own some Mustang. No. I just got my license. Name is George Lubay. Honey Cunningham. What are you asking? Start her up. Really? Her name is Christine. I like that. He repairs and customizes his car, and it turns out to have a mind of its own, chasing down his enemy. Hey, you ain't mad, are you? car has a mind of its own. This is kind of the ultimate chase picture. Only cars, right. no drivers. They finally perfected it. Remake Cannonball Run. <laughs> Christine turns into a horror story when the car gets jealous of that kid's girlfriend. And I guess that sort of makes Christine sound like a ridiculous movie. And to tell you the truth, it is a completely ridiculous movie. But that doesn't mean I didn't have a good time watching it. It was strange, but ridiculous as it was, in some dumb way, the bottom line was I enjoyed it, especially the scene where Christine has a duel to the death with a giant bulldozer. That scene, I think, is really going to get the teenagers going in the movie theater. <laughs> I think the reason why it works, and it worked for me, too, is I think we like, we wish this were true. Mm -hmm. It's just a great fantasy <laughs> that we wish it were true, happening, of course, to someone else, but you <laughs> wish it were true. And the other thing that I think is interesting about the movie, everyone's going to be talking about this car and how it can straighten out its own bumpers, and the special effects here mm -hmm. are kind of good, and cars get you awful goofy, and I think you enjoy the movie at that level. What's good is this young actor, Keith Gordon. Mm -hmm. He plays this nerdy guy at the beginning with the glasses, sort of like Terry the Toad in American Graffiti. Mm -hmm. And then he has the transformation, but not just to a good guy. He sort of enjoys the power that this mm -hmm. car gives him, and he comes, becomes sort of mean and rotten. And that I'd like to see, He too. sort of made a deal with the devil, like the devil and Daniel Webster. Yeah. He has said to the car, okay, you give me a great car, make me look cool behind the wheel, and I'll do whatever you tell me to do. He kind of talks into the car's radio right. there. You know what I identify with in this film? What? Right was the feeling of absolute obsession that you have when you get your first car. I was 16 and a half years old. I got a crummy old beat up 1954 Ford and I was out there for at least six months. I couldn't think of anything else. People, you know, high school, things like that, totally irrelevant. I'm polishing those little pieces of rust and painting the uh, wheel, uh, you know, color uh, covering red and so yeah. forth. And uh, it was it was a fantastically absorbing experience for me. And that's what I felt as I was as I was watching the film that people do feel this way about cars. Americans love their cars, just absolutely love them. As one who drives a 74 Pontiac convertible, I think I'm an adolescent still with cars. <laughs> Have a look at the main movies on this program. We both voted thumbs up on John Carpenter's Christine, a surprisingly entertaining thriller about a haunted car. Two